Monoclonal antibodies in medicine, a revolution in patient care. Antibodies are Y-shaped proteins produced by the immune system to detect substances called antigens, which can include proteins from viruses and bacteria and also abnormal cells. Each antibody selectively recognizes and binds to its target antigen, triggering an immune attack that destroys the cells displaying the antigen. Antibodies were first described as magic bullets by Paul Ehrlich, who went on to receive the Nobel Prize in 1908 for his work. In 1952, antibodies that had been isolated from human blood were first tested to see if they could treat immune system deficiencies. In 1975, Kohler and Milstein developed a technique allowing large numbers of identical antibodies to be produced using a single cell line, or clone, obtained from mice. Antibodies produced in this way are known as monoclonal antibodies. Building on this understanding, scientists harnessed this method to develop therapeutic antibodies, which could be engineered to recognize and bind to specific antigens on cells involved in the development of various diseases. This was a major breakthrough in the development of medicines. The first approval of a therapeutic monoclonal antibody was in 1986, for use in preventing kidney transplant rejection. As early therapeutic monoclonal antibodies were developed in cells derived from mice, their potential was restricted due to the fact that the patient's immune system would recognize the antibodies themselves as foreign and thus inactivate or destroy them. By the 1990s, so-called chimeric monoclonal antibodies were developed, meaning that around two-thirds of the molecule contained human rather than mouse proteins, making them less likely to be attacked by the immune system. The first chimeric monoclonal antibody was approved in 1994 for the treatment of cardiovascular disease. Further advances led to so-called humanized monoclonal antibodies with less than 10% mouse protein and eventually to fully human monoclonal antibodies. The first fully human monoclonal antibody was approved in 2002 for the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis. Monoclonal antibodies today are produced from cells from mammals that are grown in a lab under special conditions in a long and complex process that requires a high degree of expertise, including standard processes such as viral screening, purification and decontamination in an effort to ensure high quality. Further advances in monoclonal antibody engineering have brought new hope of optimizing their role as potential medicines. Examples include antibody drug conjugates, in which a toxin is attached to a monoclonal antibody to deliver it directly to the target cells. Glyco-engineered antibodies, which have been specifically modified to help activate the immune system more effectively. And bispecific antibodies, or two-in-one monoclonal antibodies, designed to recognize two different antigens at the same time. This type of antibody can be used in numerous ways, such as to block different antigen targets at the same time, or bind to two molecules and bring them together. Today, more than 40 therapeutic monoclonal antibodies are approved worldwide for the treatment of numerous diseases, including multiple sclerosis, macular degeneration, rheumatoid arthritis, osteoporosis, asthma, psoriasis, Crohn's disease, lupus, haemophilia, and a variety of cancers. As science and engineering evolves, researchers are exploring their potential in even more diseases with unmet need, such as Alzheimer's disease. For over 20 years, Roche has been a leader in the development of innovative medicines and therapeutic monoclonal antibodies. We will continue to work to advance the science and technology behind monoclonal antibodies in the hopes of treating a variety of diseases and ultimately improving the lives of patients.